But the question becomes, how should we define strong in sort of a figurative sense? Well, this talk today is not about strong men, weightlifting, or powerlifting. That's sort of, those are things that can, you can compete in if you get really strong. But we're going to take a much more fundamental view. What I want to kind of do for set the tone is instill that strength is your definition. It's your perspective to own and to develop. Um, it's about getting better at whatever it is you want to get better at. If you want to do two or three more reps in a handstand push-up, that is getting stronger. If you want to squat from 100 to 150 to 200, 250 pounds, that's a strength goal. If you want to, even when it comes to like pushing a prowl or something, if you want to get better at that, then this talk will help you get better at that. I want to set the tone. And really, <clears throat> this sort of journey you set out on, this is about strength in really the figurative terms. This is about polishing yourself, understanding yourself, going through trials, having quite a bit of failures that you can learn from and then go back and tweak what you're doing and set yourself back on the right course. And really, when I say you're going to be strong because of what you pick up, that's really what you truly become over time as you get more and more training experience under your belt. So this is just not about me telling you how to put weight on the bar and lift more. This is about a little bit more, something more satisfying, I think. You, you can chase PRs forever and everything, but that, that really won't be satisfying. The satisfying bits are all in the details and the nuance of how you approach your training. So what should you expect from this talk? I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you. Sorry. Uh, and we may actually talk about more than this, too. I mean, one thing I want to do is leave a lot of time and a lot of opportunity for you guys to ask questions. If you go, hey, I didn't, I didn't really get that, or hey, I got a story of my own I think would be cool to tell, jump in whenever you want. And also, after every section, I'll make some time for you to ask questions and give feedback. At some point, we will break out possibly into some demonstrations. I'll show you some special exercises. I'll show you some cool little things to do. We'll break it up. We'll stand up. We'll work on our hip extension. We won't sit because sitting is poisonous. Right, Bledsoe? So really, Here's sort of the scope of what we'll go over. I want to go over a simple tool for programming. I say programming because that's the general like, CrossFit term for how you approach the planning of training. Uh, there's another word I'll use. We'll go over a lot of complicated things, and I'll get that out of the way really quickly, like in two seconds. And I'm going to go towards something that's much more simplified and something you can actually use today to sort of adjust your training and get more out of it. We're going to talk about breaking through plateaus. I think everybody's probably gotten really good at something, and then that progress stopped, and you try to ask yourself, how the hell can I get going again? We'll talk about why that happens, how you can get beyond that. Uh, strength as a skill. You know, strength is not necessarily a magical combination of things that you just put together a big soup and you get the strength result. Strength is like anything else. Strength is something you practice and get better at. Uh, variation. I think it's a very interesting question in CrossFit just because uh, things seem very varied. <laughs> and sometimes it's hard to sort of see why you're maybe doing a thing. And then there's other ways to approach it, which is very low variation. You come in and do the same thing. And people have a lot of good things to say about either one of those things, a lot of bad things to say about either one of those things. But what I want to do is sort of give you an interesting insight into why they're both necessary. <clears throat> Training with and around <clears throat> injuries. Uh, how likely are you to get injured? What happens if you do get injured? Uh, how can you get around it? It's a pretty relevant consideration. Here's probably the, one of the more interesting ones, the size fallacy. I know that some people in here may not want to get really huge. And I want to tell you up front ahead of time that getting really strong does not mean you're going to get really huge. I'm going to talk about why. And I also want to recognize the very real elephant in the room, which is literally me. I'm 300 pounds. I'm going to tell you that you don't need to be big to be strong. But I have, I have a rationale for that discussion, so bear with me. We're going to touch on it. Uh, and then we're going to talk a little about utilizing special exercises, and that's where we'll maybe break out into some actually hands-on demonstrations and stuff. Um, training with a group or training by yourself, I think it's a really cool little discussion. And then a concluding statement, which is basically how strong is strong enough? You know, when is it time to work on another goal? How far do you push for PR? And one thing that's not up here is some nutrition talk, but I think we could do a little round table at the end if people have questions about what they should eat to get really strong or how they can support their training with 
maybe a diet program that allowed them not to put on too much weight and all those kind of considerations. And I may bring Bledsoe and Doug and anybody else into that so we can talk about it. So that's really the sort of <clears throat> layout for what we're going to talk about. And the next section is getting right into that simple tool for programming. But I think before I do that, I'll give you a few seconds if people want to get coffee. Yeah, she's very happy. She's probably waiting the whole introduction for me to say go get coffee. So take a minute, get some coffee, stretch real quick, and we'll get right into the first.